Terry. Thanks so much for stopping in. I bet I know why you're here though. I bet you want to make a lemon pie with me. Come on over to my kitchen. Let's do this. We're going to make our filling for our lemon pie. So in this pan right here, I put in the pudding mix, which was this, lemon, cook and serve. You want to make sure you get the cook and serve jello. You do not want the instant. And this is a 2.9 ounce box. You put one of those in your kettle and you put a half a cup of sugar and a quarter cup of water and two beaten egg yolks. So we have to separate them. I already cracked this. You have to separate the white from the oak. You crack it, you kind of hold it like this. Or some people just put it in their fingers and let it run through. But if I don't have to do that, I don't want to do that. Just keep kind of tossing it back and forth like that. See, and eventually that little white there will fall off. There, one down. Make sure all the white is off of it. And then we'll put our yolk in that bowl right here. Beat that in a minute. Separate the other one. See that? You open it up. Whoops. We're just going to kind of toss it back and forth. And you want to try real hard not to get egg whites in it. If you do, when the, the pudding settles, see, I got a little in there. When the pudding cooks and firms up, you will see the little lumps of egg white in it. And then you can just uh, take them out. Just gonna do that and we're gonna put that in our pan over here, like so. Sorry, I can't keep moving the camera around. Whoa, oh man, I just messed that up. I got yolk in my white. I was gonna use those white spoon rings, but I messed that up. There we go. Now, what we do, we just mix this up like this. Once so we got it pretty well mixed. And we're gonna add two cups of water. Let me make sure. Yep, I'm gonna stir, stir in two cups of water. And then we're gonna boil it. Let me get my water. I'm gonna add my two cups of water. I'm gonna stir it up and put it over medium heat. And we're gonna, excuse the timer, we gotta check that pumpkin pie again. We're gonna go over medium heat and stir it until it boils. We're gonna constantly stir it so it doesn't burn. Crust, remember for the lemon meringue. And as it cools, look, we can actually take it right out of there. Look at that. Oops, we lost a piece, but you didn't see that. It's okay, it still looks good. It was the underside. So we have this nice little, see? Hear that? It's nice and dried. Now we're making our filling to put in it. And that was all this in here. Remember, put it all in there. Now we're going to boil it while we stir it constantly. So this is what our pie filling is looking like. See that? And it's thickening as it cools. We're gonna let it cool a few more minutes, and then, see it's about that consistency, it's very hot. So as it cools, it's gonna thicken up more. And we're gonna let it cool a little longer, and then we're gonna pour it into that cool pie shell. Cooled, see? Now we're gonna get ready to make our meringue to go on top. So we need three egg whites, just the whites. And I could have used the ones from the yolks that I put in the pie filling, but I accidentally dropped some yolk into some of those whites. So I had to throw them out. So, three egg whites in here. They 
do make little separators too, little cups you can put them in and I don't know how they work exactly because I've never had one, but this is intimidating to you, which it shouldn't be, you can just practice. They have little separator cups they make. Oh, wow, that was a really weak shell. Wow, I don't see that very often. So, I'm gonna get that thing, and we're just gonna do like I told you before, just use our hands. See that? Just plopped through. And you don't wanna get any yolk in these wipes because, hold on, I gotta wash my hands. Because these wipes are going to be beat, light and fluffy. If there's any yolk in them, I have heard they will not whip up and turn into turn into a piece. You'll see, this is fun. Meringue is so cool. Let me get plugged in and get my sugar. I'm gonna okay. set the egg whites over here for a minute because our pie filling is cooled enough. And we are going to pour this in our pie shell. put this in here. We beat these egg white until foamy. And then we're gonna put in a third of a cup of sugar and you're gonna see what happens. It's really cool. See that's foamy? It's kind of like soap, doesn't it? Now this is the fun part. Watch this. A little bit at a time.
Okay, wanted to make peaks, but that's not quite peaky enough. Usually they would just stand right up. So we're gonna work it a little longer. And we're going to try to carefully... There you go. Those are delicious to lick. Feeders. Yum. I'm going to bring this pretty little puppy back over here. I'm going to put our meringue on it. Here we go. Plop it on. You want to mash it into the crust because it will. This meringue is not quite looking as stiff as I would like it to. More the pie filling, really. But we'll see. Jello failed me. They didn't put the recipe on their box anymore, which they have for decades. We took it off and I searched, my sweetie searched the internet for me. And he found one that I know is the one I used, but I don't know. Not looking like it's normally would. But we'll see what we end up with. No life lost, just lost if it doesn't turn out, right? So we kind of put it in the middle and then I kind of drag it to the sides and try to seal it against the crust. No matter how good you seal it, I don't know. Maybe someone else out there has tips for me. No matter how good you seal it, it seems like it still separates from the crust as it cools. But that doesn't matter as long as you have some of that yumminess on top of the pie. It still eats the same. It'll taste good. I like to make peaks, but I don't like to make them too peaky because then in the oven, sometimes they'll get little burnt tips on them. I like it to be brown, but I don't like the tips to burn. Just 
trying to give a little dimension here. Yeah, we'll see how that turns out. I'm a little concerned, but we'll see. Pretty? Now we're gonna put it in that 350 oven. And we're gonna put this in there just to brown the meringue. And we're gonna give it about, we're gonna check it every five minutes. Timers went up for our lemon meringue pie. And I think it's done. Can you see that? Yummy. It's done. It's nice and golden brown. I don't know if you can tell that in this lighting. But it's got a pretty brown to it, but yet it's not burnt. I think my light's kind of washing it out. It's actually sizzling. <laughs> Must be the lemon juice in it. But see these peaks? They're nice and firm. It's kind of created like a little shell. Kind of like a toasted marshmallow. It's yummy. So now, that one just gets to cool. Get a little mess here. And guess what? We've just made our pies for the holidays. There's our pumpkin, and there's our lemon meringue. I made a lot of other different ones over the years, and I have a delicious chocolate chip one too. That maybe one day we'll we'll make. For now, it's just two this year. There's been years I've made as many as six or eight, I'm embarrassed to say, but we've had some big crowds for Thanksgiving. So there you go. Easy as pie.